It's the Ram Trucks post game. As we put an exclamation point on this phenomenal day of college football, the 10 year history of the CFP. Heard Reese Davis say on game day this morning that this day, these two matchups in the semifinal look like you know the most even matchups. Yeah. And boy, did it live up to that. And this one, you know, Washington, when you have the kind of season they have, every game is close. <laughs> yeah, it finds a way to get close. To, to have one of your own players get hurt, to Mind stop work. the clock, to put you in that situation where you know, you're just hanging on for dear life, uh, kind of the way their season's gone, but they always win. They always find a way. It's the most remarkable thing. You watch them offensively, defensively, when someone has to make a play. Whether it's a fourth and one reverse to Roma Dunze, whether it's a back shoulder throw against Oregon State to Roma Dunze on third and three in wet weather, whether it's a great PBU by Elijah Jackson with the game on the line and the championship on the line potentially, they find a way. It's it's a resilient group that does have a flair for the dramatic, <laughs> but at the same time, man, they've earned every single thing they've gotten this year and. They're going to be a great, great cha uh, possible champion if they can get it done a week from now. Kalen DeBoer just looks remarkably calm through all of it. Oh, yeah, that happened. <laughs> and, you know, we won. We keep going. Well, it's a lot and he easy. came out firing, didn't he? Right out of the gate. 77-yard completion to Jalen Polk on the first series of the game for Washington. Yeah, and it really was taking advantage of the safeties all day long for Texas. And I thought Penix did a great job moving in the pocket, did a great job of identifying where those safeties were at all times and in the red zone here when the windows get tighter you see the velocity on the fastball they're splitting the safeties for a big touchdown there early in the second half just a terrific performance from start to finish from the Heisman runner-up fourth highest passing yardage total in a college football playoff game is 430 tonight and that's the way he started the season he opened the season with three straight 400 yard plus games hoping for another one he'll play one more against Michigan next Monday night in Houston for the national championship Kalen DeBoer knows what it's like to play for a national title he won three of them at the NAIA level Give something.